Criticism of the Tunisian government being broadcast openly and without fear. This band are performing on the radio, singing that people are still crying after the revolution. Five years ago, a public performance like this in Tunisia would have been unthinkable. But the media has now opened up, no longer repressed by a dictator. When Ben Ali uh, is in power, uh, we haven't the power. Uh, when we sang before, there were a lot of problems in taboos. But after the revolution, we found freedom of speech so we can express ourselves. We talk about everything we want. Under the former president, Zin al Abidin Ben Ali, free speech didn't exist. He ruled Tunisia for 23 years through repression and fear. But in December 2010, Tunisians demanded change after this man, Mohamed Bouazizi, killed himself. His cousin shows me a poster of Mohamed. The vegetable seller set himself on fire in frustration. That led to huge protests and Bin Ali fled the country. But Mohamed's cousin doesn't believe enough has changed. The people regret the revolution because even more than before, the dictator is back. This government uses terrorism. Every time we ask for some rights, they say they must fight against terrorism first. But the terror threat is real and seemingly growing. In November, a suicide bomber targeted the presidential guard, killing 12 people. It came after Tunisia's worst terror attack, 38 people gunned down in the resort of Sousse in June 2015. That March, another 21 people were killed in Tunis. The targets of both of those attacks, foreign tourists. The government is battling to convince foreigners that the country is safe. La priorité des priorités, c'est la sécurité maintenant. Number one priority of our government is security. Social peace is also important because it's essential in restarting the economy and also in relaunching the tourist sector. So while the media is freer than ever before, freedom from danger and poverty looks like a battle still far from won. Duncan Crawford, TRT World, Tunis.